Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to dynamically enable and disable this night vision mode in our game. So here you can see there is an enemy. We can see him already but if we enable the night vision mode you can see we can see the enemy more clearly. So like this. So if I go to the toggle debug camera mode fly around the level you can see there are other enemies as well like this for example here so we can see them also clearly so let me go back so yeah that's what we are going to work on today how to enable and disable uh, night vision camera in the runtime so here is a better example now you can see i don't really see anything in the distance but if i enable the night vision mode we can clearly see now there is an enemy over there without the night vision mode we don't really see him we barely see the silhouette but that's not enough okay uh, before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel from the patreon page once you become a member you will be able to access everything without any limits so not just this project you can access all other projects as well and here is the full playlist of this series so everything is shared in my channel so you can build everything you see here from scratch and yeah now let's get back to today's tutorial So this is what we implemented at the end of previous episode uh, where we have this night vision mod. We can see this uh, enemy characters like this and not just here. If I see other enemies are also visible like that. So now we want to make it enable and disable dynamically in the runtime. So right now I have just set this post process material here. So if I make it zero, it's like this. And also we add some emission to the material of the characters as well here. So it, there should not be any emission in the regular mode. So we are going to do that too, so, uh, dynamically. Okay, so the first thing is I leave this emission as zero for now and process material so I'll remove this as well and then let's go to our player character that's this is where I'm gonna implement the toggling of the effect okay so first thing we would need is some input binding where do I have my inputs? Let me go to the folder view. Enhanced input. Right here, I'll add a new input action. I a night. Let's call it the night vision. This is a bool, by default it's a digital bool, okay. Now, here yeah, I have this player input mapping. I'll add night vision here, and I'm gonna assign the key n to this. Okay, now here, Yeah, I'll add I a night vision. I'll use it started. So here I want to get a reference to the post process volume and add this night vision post process material to the post process volume. So for that, 
let's do something like this mm. yeah get act of class so depending on how you have set up the level maybe you can apply to the post process volume itself or you can just implement a way to set the post process value that you want to use or you might in some cases you may be able to apply this to the camera process as well but for now i'm going to use this way and let's promote this to a variable pp volume and here I do a validity check so that if I try to do the same thing again, then I will not have to use this operation. So if I don't have a post process volume, I have to find it. If not, I can directly use it. Okay, and then uh, here, let me add. For now let's just do the enabling part so get get settings and break here post process materials so we get a structure here so here we can we can actually split this now we get an array array of all the post process materials available and then we can add unique so i need to add this night vision material so here let's create dynamic material instance i can actually do that before this step mpp night vision okay i don't need to define any of these things and from auto variable uh m night vision okay and then add it here split i'll set the weight to one and add here so this should be enough to get the effect to work here let's see if i press n see now effect is applied but we don't have the effect that we added the emission part from the character bodies but let's look into that next first let's see so now we can enable this so how do we disable this okay now here let's add a new variable Wait, we shall enable it. Mm, maybe instead of night vision i'll call tactical vision because if i end up implementing other visions such as thermal vision oh yeah basically thermal vision so we can reduce the same variables m so i'll call it tactical vision here Tactic vision enabled. So level to level, maybe we can create a material variable here. Yeah, let's promote this to a variable. Tactic material vision material. I'll add DM because this is a dynamic material. Okay. Yeah. 
now yeah this should be false by default and here let me put some space we can do another validity check to make sure that if we don't have a valid reference for this dm tactical vision we can create one otherwise we can skip this step the creation step Okay. Now this is when we enable this. So okay. Now if we want to disable the effect, well, yeah. here let's add a branch and if tactical vision is enabled then we want to disable it and if the tactical vision is disabled we want to enable it so here if this is already false i will enable this and set tactical vision enabled to true we could do the same thing with a flip flop as well, but let's do this way so it's more clear what's going on. So, if it is already enabled, we need to disable this. So, what we need to do is remove item, and the item is this. set tactical vision enabled to false okay now let's see press n enabled press n again disabled nice so it's working so the next step is as i said we need to give some emission so here as i said we wanted about 0.2 to make it look good in the night vision mode so i don't think we have any material para parameter collections collection parameters here oh we do but none of them are related to what we are about to do here so let's create a new material parameter collection under this uh, vision mods post process material so if you are if you don't know what material parameter collection is we can use them to communicate between materials so we they are like some common parameters that way we can use across different materials so mpc post process okay scalar parameter uh, let's call this um tactical vision enabled okay and default value is zero now here i can use post process and the parameter tactical vision enabled and we can use this so you can use this with whatever the material that you have with your character in the same way that i do here or you can modify it but this is the basic idea right now we do not have any emission let me check so 
So if I play the game, yeah, see, we don't have any emission. We don't. Okay. Now, what you are going to do is here. Let's kill the parameter value on the MPC post process. And when we disable it, I'll set it to zero. Parameter name is tactical vision enabled. Can do it this way. Select float. If it is true, this should be one, otherwise zero. Now emission also should come as we enable tactical vision. See? Nice. So now we have a dynamic vision system. So we actually do have still ha already have some light here. So if I move it like this, now the character is barely visible. So this is better. Okay, so this is all I want to do in this episode. Let me just enable silencer and kill this guy. Here, see, I can see clearly the other guy in the distance as well. And without the night vision, it's not visible much. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. Maybe we will explore how to do things like heat vision or thermal vision in upcoming episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in another episode. Goodbye.